So welcome. I'm Jantra Kran. Thank you um, for having me. I'm a postdoc and lecturer at the University of Zurich at the Department of Social Anthropology and Cultural Studies. I wrote my PhD on triathletes, their lifestyles, the perception of space and the experience of tracks. And what I will do today is I will tell you a little bit more about the development in triathlon and especially how the whole scene has developed in the recent years towards extreme triathlons. What is important to mention in the first place is that the whole triathlon scene is quite aware of the distinction between extreme triathlons and the normal, what we call the long distance competitions like Ironman or the Challenge series. What we find in this field when we look at the differences between the Ironman-like competitions and extreme triathlons is that there are distinctions within the scenes and especially those give us insights towards the development. So by looking at the differences, we can also focus on the needs, which are also shown by the development that in August 2019, the first extreme triathlon world championship has taken place here at Northman. With that, we are actually finding a mainstream movement in the scene where one of the innermost understandings is being extremely exclusive. This exclusiveness comes on the one hand from the scene itself. On the other hand, from the understanding in public that triathletes are crazy, they like to suffer, they do unbelievable things. Many of the non-triathletes cannot distinguish between a sprint and an extreme triathlon. So their view towards the sport often is the mentioned prejudice but this is actually another topic. Within the scene, the tendency of getting more um, attached and committed to the sport can be observed. It is developing to a more extreme level, nowadays often resulting in the participation of so-called extreme triathlons. This has become an almost normal biography of someone who does triathlon for a couple of years. So here you can see that within the last years, a couple extreme triathlons have developed. So on this list, which um, is just a few of the competitions, you can see that the Norsemen started in 2003 and then there was a few years with no other races emerging. emerging but after that, since 2009, there are many competitions popping out of the ground. And the, there are even more which were supposed to take place in 2020, which couldn't. So the list can be um, continued and you can see that there are more and more competitions now growing. That there were so many extreme triathlons popping up in the last couple of years shows a reciprocal effect. How triathletes behave causes also the emergence of those extreme competitions. But the presence of those competitions also causes the request to participate. This way, ideals like being part of an exclusive group, getting a slot, managing the elevation, having your own supporter, our criteria to negotiate and become part of that specific group. Equally, the athletes negotiate over the existing and continuous tendency of the competitions to increase in their extreme attributes, also self-efficiency -effic expectations and self-optimizing strategies. Throughout the ability, of doing swimming, biking and running and adjusting the lifestyles towards that performance, athletes become able to cope with those competitions. And this is a process which can take a couple of years with managing to cope with one challenge, a new personal challenge is set. Then they train for it, they do a competition, they successfully finish, overcome that challenge, find a new one and so on. Through this process, they belong to an exclusive group. Such competitions 
always also serve as an increase of successful confirmation of one's own achievements and abilities. So the presence and growth of extreme triathlons makes it possible to act like that in more and more places. This way that triathletes are constantly recreating themselves through the competitions, through the desire of athletes to achieve something new, to participate in a new competition and to experience new challenges, to possess and incorporate something unique and, and unprecedented sentiment, a more a form of development that reminds us of what the sociologist Andreas Reckwitz describes as aesthetic capitalism. The fact that athletes and the competitions are becoming more and more extreme can also be seen as a form of demarcation from the other, like the previous existing competitions, like other colleague athletes or organizers of competitions. But at the same time, the development consolidates a collective and integrates everyone who's present into an exclusive community. Especially the usual limitations of slots at such competitions to a few hundred contestants forces this project process. Likewise, the self-organization of the food and drinks and the obligatory accompaniment on parts of the course by a self-chosen so-called supporter lifts the contestants into an exclusive position and suggests a form of uniqueness and power. The places where such competitions take place are often, at least on the track, very isolated. The street, the Tremola of the Gotthard, Gotthard Pass from the Swiss men race is used only by a few others and almost no cars. On the Gostertoppen, the finish of the Norsemen, only a material cable car is running. Over the roofs, but also over the individual suffering parts of the athletes, exclusion is created. As a non-objectifiable category, every locatable competition route is inscribed in the experience of athletes and serves for the future and personal development as a triathlete. However, the stage must be given and the grandstand filled because without viewers, such images and narratives have no effect. The resulting stories and visual worlds also pointing to a further, further dimension to be able to market the sign of the extreme in a media effective way. Instagram, Facebook, movies on YouTube, all this is essential part of the competition and without those forms of marketing, the whole thing would be only worth half. If you look at the screenshots, you can see a huge difference. So here you can see what images come up when I Google Ironman Hawaii triathlon. And I guess you can see mainly athletes, of course, a little bit surrounding. You can identify that we are in Hawaii, if you're familiar with some of those um, images. And here I Google Northman triathlon. And we and these are the first uh, views I get when I, when I put this into Google. Um, maybe for you, term it will be a little bit different, but you will get the message that here we see much more of the landscape and the surroundings. The difference you can find here is that the landscape in which the extreme races takes place score with spectacular scenery and highly diverse weather conditions. This is due to the geographical location of the competitions, but also caused by the lens of historical perspective on landscapes, the spectators' views are auto automatically influenced. Those lens them solitude and grandeur and sublimity. When the scenery underpins the experience, the subsequent narratives about races can become more powerful. The streets of the Ironman Frankfurt 
or the canal on the challenge of the challenge road are less suitable for this than the mountains and glaciers of Norway or maybe even the lava desert of Hawaii only that Ironman Hawaii is not putting that into the center but is focusing on the athletes. The landscapes also symbolize places of longing and enhancing the tourist view. Those, the resulting images of the extreme triathlon play significant more with the surroundings and put athletes in the limelight through the landscape in contrast to other long distance races where it's only about the athletes. While normal long distance triathlon like the Ironman prove that distance is overcome by physical performance, participation in extreme triathlons show that not only distance can be overcome, but also qualitatively challenging aspects of profile, terrain and weather can be covered and distinctions to the others of the triathlon scene can be made. And therefore, we do need the extreme triathlons as part of the development of triathlon. Thank you very much.